Welcome to the Brojo Cup. Here is our first match of the evening. It's going to be none other than Gilgamesh versus Lancelot. So Gilgamesh, our Kentucky Fried Chicken representative, extremely strong Anji player right now against Lancelot, a Chinese individual extremely strong who also resides in Japan currently, plays a very, very crazy Nagori Yuki like we'd like to see them. Kaiden-san, konba. Kaiden-san. Konba wa yoroshiku onaishimasu. Wow, and here we go with the wake up cut show. Who gets who? Good stuff from Gilgamesh. Almost got the kill, but a little bit too far to get it. Nice grab right there from Lancelot. Still not out of this yet. Just one more hit. And he gets grabbed on the wake up. You hate to see it. A little bit, um, a little bit like a too, too, how do you say, slow on the decision making right there from Lancelot, unfortunately for him. That being said, here we go with the corner pressure from Gilgamesh. Gonna get that wall break. Using the Psy for a guaranteed hard knockdown. Good stuff from Gilgamesh. Okay, sorry guys, I still need to check the bracket just in case. Just to see if everything is going well. I think it is. Yeah, I think we're good. And here we go with the Wasude. Is it gonna hit? Yes, it does. Thanks to the wall spot. I think we're good. Tron. Oh shit, Tron Cat is in there. Okay. Tron! No way. Is Tron playing? Oh damn, Tron, Tron is actually gonna play. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, here we go with the first match for Gilgamesh. Takes the first. Okay, here we go. This is the. Uh, uh, Tika, this is. Uh, there's already one match for Gilgamesh, so we are starting from the second match this time around. And we have Gilgamesh already in the corner trying to get that nice wall break. He's got the overhead from the follow up of the Fujin. C'est ni du rajout? Non. <laughs> non. C'est pas du rajout du tout. C'est un personnage de Gouri. Tu trouveras peut-être. Ooh, that was a nice read from Gilgamesh, but he did not commit to it, unfortunately. But still ended up getting the perfect. Very nicely done from Gil. Let's see if Lancelot can bring it back. Ah, Lancelot. Okay, with uh, the. Uh, the clone, oh, was a little bit early right there on hitting the, uh, the wild reflect. I forgot how you, how you say it correctly. I'll call it the wild reflect. I don't care. And here we go with the grab from Lancelot. Nice read right there. Catching Gilgamesh, hopping towards his general direction. Go with the positive bonus. Air to air in favor of Gil. Couldn't quite get the, oh, the juggle. And instead Lancelot ends up getting it. Goes for the full extension, but here we go with a Guts. Anji Guts right there. He will refuse to die. Big, big stagger right there from Gil. Almost cornered himself. Ah, too far to get the, the wall. Ooh! Nice follow-up from the dance right there. Ends up ooh, baiting that golden burst. You can feel that Gil really wanted to get that kill, but Lancelot kept to his wits. Managed to get the landing in the corner. For the kill, ooh, a little bit too far right there for this jumping D and Gilgamesh no notices the uh, notices the opening again with the dance, really just negating the use of the clone from Lancelot. Gilgamesh has the corner positioning. Ooh, goes for the overhead, gets the opening. Should be able to get the wall break. <clears throat> And here we go, the two H's from, uh, from Lancelot. Ooh, pop the blood. And here we go, the closest for the kill by Gilgamesh gets the second match as well. Let's see how this is going to go. Is Lancelot going to be able to bring, uh, to make a comeback or is Gilgamesh going to end up taking it? Big opening right there from Gilgamesh. Goes for the, ooh, the empty low. A very delayed one at that. Against the follow up. Ooh! With the Nagiha. Too far to get the uh, the juggle though. Uh, Gilgamesh tried to punish using the Fujin on the recovery of the 4 HS from Lancelot. Wow, and the wake up closest from Gilgamesh. This guy knows no fear. Oh, good lord. Good stuff from Gilgamesh. One more round is all that is needed for Gilgamesh. Ooh, nice bait of the burst right there from Lancelot. Let's get the corner positioning. Ooh, and the bag that from Gil. 
Gale again getting grabbed. <laughs> Going a little bit too deep. Gets it by the DP. Lancelot tried to get the um the side switch. Unfortunately, was uh, a little bit out. Oh no, that big forest counter hit. Oh blood explosion. Okay, what is gonna be? Oh the schmix. Good stuff from Gil, and Gil takes it a clean three. Johnny, let's go. A match between two individuals from the same country, Mugi versus H2O. Mugi, the strongest Nagori Yugi player in the whole wild world of Japan. <laughs> yeah, let's see how this pans out. Is H2O going to be able to contain that tornado that is Mugi? We shall see in the coming minutes. And here we go with the start of the round. Mugi already has the corner positioning. He has the opening from H2O, forces him to pop the burst. Ooh, nice cheeky grab from H2O. Manages to get the card. Ooh, tried to go for a shimmy, but Mugi not biting. Okay, very, very fast play right there from H2O. Wanting to get a reaction from Mugi, but Mugi not committing to anything. Just committing to bro blocking. Oh, get you got open right there from far edge. Oh, too far. Th oh, that should be though from Mugi. And goes for the Roman cancel to get the kill. Combo necessary to end this round. And on to the second round. Let's see how Mugi is going to do. Goes for the clone. Wow, gets the stagger right there from H2. Ooh, that series of jabs from Mugi. Unfortunately, H2 was caught mashing. Ooh. You didn't pay enough attention to the blood bar. And here we go with H2O. Got the Miss Finer. Ah, Mugi Man not afraid to just Fukio right in front of his opponent. Here we go with the jump in from Mugi. Trying to find a an angle at which he can start his offense. Gets hit by the far H as though. That gonna kill. Yes, it is. Good stuff from H2O. Taking one freaking round. Ouais, Johnny, il est pas mal. Euh, il est rapide. Euh, il a une bonne range aussi. Après, le problème, il peut pas courir. Il peut juste euh, dash forward. Et du coup, enfin, tu dash dans le jeu là, tu, bah, tu peux pas bloquer en même temps. Donc, euh, c'est ouais, à voir. C'est un style de jeu, quoi. C'est un style de jeu spécial. Here we go, the close S from Mugi. Ouh! Mugi with the wall assault. Gonna get the wall break. This is not gonna be a hard knockdown, though. Mugi just content to just stay away and wait for H2O to commit to. Yep, to start the offense in. Thankfully for this, Mugi was able to get the first match. Good stuff from Mugi. Ah, moi je te recommande de commencer avec Sol. Et puis ensuite de, de travailler à partir de là. Plus Sol il est fort. C'est le personnage qui ressemble le plus à, à un perso Akumalak, je pense, d'après moi. Here we go with the corner pressure. Ooh, and Mugi caught the burst. He's gonna get the wall break. Yeah, boom! Using the Wasune Yuki for a hard knockdown and a guaranteed uh, positive bonus. Kaboom! Get out of here! It was gonna be the Oki. Here we go to close S. Oh, too far! Moogie Man with the relentless pressure and H2O not checking these front, the forward Fukio from a. From a ooh! And Moogie a little bit late on the 6P right there. Ooh, got open, got, ooh, yeah, has to. Oh, no, man, the front again. The front Fukio not getting checked by H2O. This has been the bane of H2O, by the way. Mugi taking the lead, a pretty substantial one, by the way. One match in one round. Mugi trying to catch H2O, pressing some buttons right there. Oh, Lord, where did this wall assault come from? Ooh, big 2H. Thanks to this, Mugi again is right in front of H2O. Right at the range where H2O cannot... Cannot, yeah, just get out for free. Here we go, the Miss Finer. Yep. Good stuff from Mugi again. Force H2O to pop the burst. Ooh, H2O trying to get that shimmy though. Here we go, the Miss Finer. Oh lord. No! And the air to our favorite Mugi. It goes for the double Fukio. Ooh! Where are these wild assaults coming from? And the freaking confirms from Mugi, man. Continuing his assault just right in time for him to get the wall splat and getting the kill thanks to this. And on to the potential final set set match of uh well match of the set. Let's see how this pans out. We go with the Miss Finer. It should gonna get the wall assault and the wall break. And with the jump in. Ooh, what was that? Wow, that was freaky sneaky. 
That was really sneaky. Good lord. Okay, Mugi's got the knockdown. She made it the freaking overdrive too. See how this spins out. Ooh, a little bit too far from there. Mugi doesn't have the reach. Because he didn't have the blood level. Here we go with uh, the clone. Mugi using the Roman cancel in order to keep the pressure going. Using the Wild Assault as well. Fukuo is a thing. It's wow, it's show with the confirms. Almost got the juggle. That would have been death, by the way, if he managed to get the wall pressure. And the wall, uh, the wall splat. Ooh, not enough to kill. Almost got it. Got it. Caught. Moogie standing up a little bit too quickly right there. And on uh, to round number two. Oh! How can you block that? Instant overhead using the misfiner into the card. It you should be able to uh, keep the pressure going, but Moogie using the wall assault again. Blocking that wake up overdrive from Ichio. You should be able to get a wall break. Doesn't use the overdrive in order to get it though. Let's see how this spins out. Ooh, Miss Fighter caught you back dashing. Ichio too far to get the follow up. Is that gonna be a fuzzy? Nope. Using the slowdown of the Roman cancel to get a cart on deck. No puns intended. Oh! Oh, nice! Backdash right there from Ishio. That would have been absolutely horrible for him. <laughs> Let's see how this pans out. Ishio in the corner gets opened by the Beyblade. Is that going to be ended up? I think it... No! Wow! The life of Ishio hanging by a thread. Gets the grab using the slowdown. Enough to kill. Not enough to kill! No! You're it! Ah, uh, it's still holding on to dear life and gets opened by the quake to tap the snow. Oh, that was sick. And here we go with it still actually managed. Yeah, that was the, the correct answer to do. I think keeping his burst for the final round. I actually thought that that was the final round. Now let's see how this turns out. Ooh, and Mugi with the grab. Goes for the front Fukio. Ooh, almost got the juggle, but ended up just not getting it. There you go. Ah, Mugi needs to be careful. He is state number two. Straight into the Wasude Yuki for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Kaboom! Get out of here! What's your name, Johnny? I have heard of no such name. Oh, too far to get the hit. It's still using the uh, the wild reversal. <laughs> I forgot how it's called. Anyways, we're going with Mugi getting the kill with the grab. Natural Usui. What the hell? It's not Usui Johnny anymore. It's Usui Elfelt. What the hell? Perfect. Let's see some Elfelt action against none other than Hagiara. Let's see. Perfect. Some Elfelt representation. Really looking forward to this. And here we go with the Pine Bomb. Trying to get the grab. Hagiara. Ooh, neg negating that sniping. Ooh, attempt from Usui Johnny. Usui johnny has got the corner positioning. Goes for the mixes. The schmixes mixes. I really need to learn the name of this attack, by the way. Give me just one second, guys. And as you can see, Hagiara just doing a very good job of trying to keep uh, Usui Johnny out. Ooh, here we go with the trade in favor of Hagiara, if I might say. You see Johnny trying to snipe Hagiara and force the D, uh, the D, how do you call it? And trying to force all of the pesky minions out. Oh, the bait on the freaking wire seat right there from Hagiara, from uh, Usi Johnny. Almost got hit by the 6P too. That was, oh, very bad. Hagiara, no. Hagiara trying to find an angle. Oh, and the grab from the other part of the they just sick and Lucy Johnny taking the first round with the pine bomb. Very nicely done. So let's see. Uh it's called the Miss Charlotte. Okay, Miss Charlotte is the snipe. Miss Charlotte out of repair is the butt hit. And then we have the bomb bomb chocolate, the pine bomb, I guess. And here I go. Oh, here I go. Okay. That's easy to remember. A pie. What is a pie though? Ah, a pie. Okay. Here I go. Okay, got it. Ugando da parfeo. Okay, gotcha. And bomb, bomb near. Okay, gotcha. Okay, it's it. Here I go. Anyways, here we go. The juggle. And I think this is gonna drop, is it? No, it's not. Okay, very nicely done by. I gotta gonna get a lot. We're gonna get the kill, actually. Good lord. That was big. That was really big. Denim looks good on her. It does, bro. It does. Did. I wasn't expecting it to kill, to be honest. But then again, uh, well. 
Elfelt has a lot of schmixes and actually a pretty decent output, a damage output. And this is the reason why she absolutely has, she doesn't have a lot of, uh, of life, which is fair enough, I suppose. Because the mixes of Elfelt are freaking easy as F. <laughs> and she has a lot of them, by the way. Uh, anyways, that being said, here we go with Hagiara getting the corner positioning. He should be able, yep, to pop the here we go. Oh, Lord, no, you're not getting out of here. And Hagiala nailing it with the Legion Driver. Kaboom. First match goes to Hagiara. 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 Very nicely done. Let's see how this uh, pans out. Ah. Let's see Johnny getting the first hit. Didn't go for the butt hit, though. And Hagiara already with the corner positioning, trying to find the opening. Oh, good lord! Gets it with the wild assault. Goes for the save jump. The empty low, actually. Here we go with the Miss Charlotte. Ooh! Yeah, Hagiara making a good use of the minions right there to keep Usui Johnny on the ground. Ooh, too far to get the butt hit, though. The butt slam. Ooh! Big 6 period there from Agala. Should be able to get the juggle and the kill, incidentally. Very nicely done. Did. Now on to the, th uh, the second um, round of this second match. Yeah. And everyone is here at the board. Here we go. And Usi Johnny with the schmixes. Ah, he wanted to get the burst, but Agala did not give it to him. Oh, big grab right there from Usi Johnny. Should be able to get the schmix going. Here we go, indeed. This time around gets the opening and the kill with the slip. Good stuff from Usi Johnny. Still not out of it. And on to the next round. Big sweep right there from Usi Johnny. Tried to get the aerial grab, but man. That was really nicely done by Usi Johnny. Too far to get the hit, though, with the Mr. Charlotte. Here we go, let's save jump. Ooh, big wild assault. And you have to deal with the minions, the schminions. And here we go with the incessant offense from Hagiara. Hagiara. Woo! Beside me. Never won the board. Ooh, the butt hit. Here we go, it's my turn. Here we go. Ooh, sniping time. Got her. Is the Johnny going to be able to get the air No, Sheree, no butt hit for you either. And it's minion time. Yep, here you go. Talk to my minions. I don't want to talk to you. Get out. Ooh, almost. Oh, he's got the grab. Not over. It's not over till it's over. No, try to win. He's got the shimmy. And he should be able to get, yeah. I forgot the, the name, the Tiranos of the la, la, Las Plagas. I forgot. Anyways, good stuff from Musi Johnny gets the first, the second match actually, very nicely done. D Ed, the he got the the Huganto, the Huganto da Parfeo. Good stuff. <laughs> Huganto da Parfeo. What the hell does that even mean? The Huganto means play, right? The Parfeo, I suppose, means a perfectness or something. Probably, if there's any Spanish uh, Spanish uh, speakers, please do not hesitate to to correct me. Huganto. Da Parfeo. I suppose it's Spanish, like. Anyway, there we go. Look at your wrist bar. See, Johnny, what are you gonna do? Force pop the burst. Oh, nice spacing right there from Musi Johnny. Goes for. Oh, now I tried to go for the grab. But Hagiara, man, with the grab himself. He's got. Oh, he got the sweep. He should be able to get the juggle. And it's a wall break. Okay, let's see Hagiara with the jump in. Ooh, too far to get anything. Ew, what is he gonna do? Careful there. Yeah, you don't want to commit to any follow up when your ah uh, your opponent is blocking though. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, good stuff. He could have gotten the kill. He was afraid of the wake up overdrive from Hagiara, and that's the reason why he didn't attack. <clears throat> Okay, ooh, it's Johnny got the jump, he's got the grab. Go for 2HS here in the pine. Okay, good stuff. Here we go. We see Johnny not out of this yet. And on to the, ooh, he goes for the butt hit. The motor butt. I don't know how to call it. I need to give it a, a, a funny name. The motor butt? Nah. The roller butt. Roller butt. Okay, here we go. The roller butt. 
Ah, oh, man, I gotta win the 6P again. Almost got hit by this. Ooh, gets hit by the Pine Mom, though. Ooh, ooh, sweet Johnny, man, with the... Ooh, the roll butt. And... Ah... Uh, you see Johnny back uh, into the zoning game, forced upon by Hagiara. Gets the jump in again and the grab. Go with the 2HS, 2HS. Yes. Here we go with the pine bomb. He's got the freaking fuzzy, fuzzy time, sir. Oh, uh, you can see Hagiara definitely. Ooh, struggling right here. Go straight into Lizzie and Driver. Driver. Good stuff from Hagiara. He's got the corner positioning. And I think. No, don't burn to get it. You hate to see it. Yeah. Let's see, Johnny not going to pop the burst. He wants to keep it for the following round. The following match, and rightfully so. <laughs> the following round, sorry. And on one round apiece, who's going to take it? We shall see. Ah, oh, boom. Oh, nice 6P from... Let's see, Johnny. Oh, too far to get the follow-up. Ooh, yes, he's got the rollabout. And Hagiara needs to, ooh, yeah, get out of the corner, and he successfully did. And take pressure, here I come. Ah, nice 6P from Musujani. Ah, yeah, but he cannot keep the pressure going, unfortunately. Ah, here we go, the minions, man, the pesky minions. Ooh, nice bag dash right there from, oh, yeah, too far to get it. Ah, uh, no 6P right there from Lucy Johnny. I to see it. Ah, uh, too far for the 2HS though. And here we go with the pressure from Hagiara. Pushing Lucy Johnny versus so slightly in the corner. Yeah, no roller butt for you, sir. Ah, uh, nice grab from Lucy Johnny. It was sick. Oh, he's got the fuzzy. Not over. Tell it's over. But he doesn't have any resources to get a hard knockdown though. You hate to see it. This is gonna be pretty harsh. Ah, almost got the whip punish too. That was sick. Oh shit. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's got, oh, he almost got the kill. Oh, that was sick. Careful. Yeah, I knew a YRC was coming. I knew it's so bad. I YRC of myself. You want to YRC me, sir? Oh. Oh no, I'm too far to get the dust. The tap dust. The dust of. Elfeld is really bad. And a 2k for the kill. Uzi Johnny, man. Up 2 to 1 against Hagiara. Good lord. Let's see how this pans out. Wow. This is pretty crazy. Let's see how this pans out. And here we go. Ooh, wow. Nice just block. Instant just block from, from Uzi Johnny. That was really well done. Uh, he wants to get the roll, but, but no. Hagiara, man. I get out with the corner positioning. Definitely does not want to go out. Gets the 2k caught. You see Johnny waking up a little bit too quickly. And back to the neutral positioning. Ooh, big standing HK right there from the uh, HSR. From Hagiara goes into the Allegiant Driver for the kill. Up 1 to 0. Well, one run. Run round. 2 0 for Hagiara. Big. Or, no, a uh, big standing HS. Or in the positioning for Hagiara. He gets the opening. Kadusi Johnny pressing some buttons. Big 6P again. He gets the juggle with uh, the minion. Through the closest, closest. Oh, he's got the aerial grab. You're staying in the corner, sir. Whether you like it or not, this should do. I think he's going to kill. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will. Elfell has no life, so. Oh, not. Okay, I lied. I lied, I lied. Okay, what's it gonna be? Ooh! That was a nice backdash from Elfeld, but unfortunately that invited Hagiara to uh, resort to using a shimmy right after. And get the kill for this fourth match. And on to the fifth match. The one who wins this match gets to move on to the winner's semifinal, I think. Okay, here we go. Ooh, with uh, the, four, the six HS. A nice challenge right there for Musi Johnny. Goes for the pipe bomb. Uh, wants to invite Hagiara to press a button, but man, Hagiara. Oh, with the 6 speed. You cannot jump on Hagiara, man. It's impossible. Great. Oh, he got the side switch as well. That was sick. Oh, Kaji standing up. Yeah. Uh, Hagiara being very methodical does not want to commit to anything unless Musi Johnny 
Gives them a reason to. Big Elysian Driver right there from uh, Hagera, who is currently in the lead. One round to two. Uh, one round to zero. Ah, okay, here we go. The snipe from Usijani. He wants that opening. Gets the jumping S, but no follow up, unfortunately, for him. I ah, didn't believe in it. And here we go with the corner positioning. You have to hold it. Plus for what? For so many times. Oh, he tried to get the shimmy, but uh, Hagelan didn't get hit by the shimmy, but got hit on his way down to the ground. Ah, uh, man. How much? How many times? How long do you have to block against this character? And it's not over. It's ongoing. Ah, uh, nice take right there on the aerial grab attempt. Woo, that was sick. And still, Hagela managed to block this. Here we go, a nice stagger. Oh, we tried to go for a grab, and this should do. And it does with the close S on the ground. Hagela moves on to the next round. Ragna versus Ibushigin Roy. Let's see who is going to come out on top. We shall see. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Breads and cookie. And here we go with the start of the match with Roy immediately forcing Ragnar to pop the burst. Again with the Fafnir. Ooh, big sending here right there from Roy. Catches Ragnar trying to get out of the corner and immediately put into the other one. Well, we're using the Wild Assault. That's going to be a guarantee. Ooh, that was a, uh, that was a cheeky blue instant overhead blue roman cancel attempt unfortunately didn't quite um didn't quite succeed roy man with the relentless pressure gets opened up by a wild bendant bringer though no that check right there from roy gets the kill with the close s into the bandit revolver first round goes to roy let's see how this pans out and both trying to feel each other Ah, uh, nice check right there from Ragnar gets the... Ooh! Good close-up pressure. Get the... Oh, the freaking... Uh, how do you call it? The cross under. Ah, uh, nice wild throw from... Ooh! No, Ragnar too late on the punish! You hate to see it. Here we go, the jump in. And the bended bringer. And the 2k... On the ground for the kill. Ragnia takes the second round. Very nicely done. See how this spins out. Nice with punish from Roy. Ooh, that was a pretty nice six speed. Here we go with the grab from Roy. Goes for the safe jump. Again with the far S, man. Roy is not afraid. Gonna get that wall break. With being said, Ragnar does have a full bar of burst, but that's a very, very long lead. Large lead. Oh no, too far for the nice empty low mix up right there from Ibushi Roy takes the first match pretty convincingly but it's definitely not impossible for Ragnar to make a comeback we shall see and here we go with the bandit revolver again with the bandit revolver this time around for Ragnar got the corner positioning here we go with the close up from Roy both yeah again feeling each other out were attempted right there to use the Fafnir in order to catch the backdash from Ragnar, but unfortunately Ragnar was a little bit too far. That being said, Roy does benefit right now from a heavy hard knockdown, well, from a hard knockdown, and that should spell death using the Roman Cancel extension for the kill. <clears throat> On to the second round. Here we go to close pressure. Oh, nice whiff punish. Oh, and the wake up DP from Roy. Also got the 2S counter hit, goes for the save jump, forces Ragnar to pop the burst, Ragnar running from the other side of the screen. I didn't quite get the mix up right there, this is unfortunate for him. Big gun flame right there from Roy. Ragnar trying to open Roy up, but man, Roy is at the perfect distance all the time. Big bandit bringer, Roy caught pressing a button at a moment he probably shouldn't have. Ooh, big 6p counter hit. Ragnar failed to get the juggle, though. You hate to see it. Ooh, the whiff. A punish attempt right there from... Ah, uh, Ragnar. Gonna get 
Oh, that is gonna do a lot of damage. Roy keeping his attention bar potentially for a roaming cancel. Ah, uh, in for the freaking overhead blue roaming cancel. Good stuff from Roy. This time around gets it. And on to the potential final set of this match. Let's see how this pans out. Big 2S counter hit. Uh, big 2S check from Ragnar. And Roy entering in due form. Ooh, nice block from Roy. Ooh, I would have gotten hit here. Big 2S counter hit. Ah, uh, no. Ah, uh, no 6P, but it's still fine. Ragnar managed to get the entire using the standing K. Ah, uh, too far. Yeah. Nice punish right there from Roy. Calculating the exact uh, location at which Ragnar would have uh, had fallen on the ground. Ooh, big close S counter hit. Too far to get the other uh, juggle. Ah, Ragnar getting, catching that backdash attempt using the close S. Gets the kill for this first round of the third match. <laughs> Ooh, nice 6S right there. Man, Roy getting the grab. Oof, here we go, the bandit. And Roy, man, with the relentless pressure. Ragnar checking it. Ah, hmm. uh, no, Roman cancel right there from Ragnar. And Roy is gonna take advantage of it. Using the Roman cancel of his own to get the side switch. And the heavy knockdown. <coughs> Ah, nice grab attempt from Roy, but man, Ragnar was on point. Almost getting a, a freaking um, corner to corner combo, but dropped it right at the end, right at the most important time. Roy again using the burst. Oh, Ragnar with the wake of DP, unfortunately. No, he got greedy. Unfortunate for him, and we are on set point. If Roy wins this one, he will send. Right now in the loser's bracket. Big Bandit Revolver. Here we go with Ragnar. Ooh, blocking. Just instant block. Oh, and Roy checking this Bandit Revolver attempt. Gets wild the side switch. That was so sick. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna get hit. Big Bandit Brave. Ah, Roy checking the... Yeah, this should do. Good stuff from... Ooh, Roy. Ah, Roy. Ah, Roy got greedy. He could have finished it, I think. He didn't really need the... Oof, too far to get... Oh, the extension. Oh, he got the whiff punish. <coughs> <coughs> oh, it's not over till it's over. Ragnar right, forcing Roy to pop the burst. One hit is all that is needed, and Roy gets it. With punishes. Good to go. This is FAB versus Hagia. Let's see how this pans out. We have reached the winner semifinal. And we have still a lot to see. But thank you very much for tuning in. If you just came to the to the to the stream, it's much appreciated. Oh Lord, and here we go with FAB using the new move acquired by Potemkin, but it would thanks to the recent patch. Nice 2k2d right there from Hagala. Gets the knockdown. And catches FAB staggering a bit right there. FAB out, currently out of burst. So has no other... Ooh, had no other choice than to uh, endure this, uh, this pressure. And here we go with uh, Hagala. Trying to get the opening. Ooh, Lord. The minions are on deck. Hagiala making sure that FAB has to, yeah, has to keep blocking in order to force him into a position where he needs to block high and low and using the RC extension in order to get the kill combo from it. Nice with punish from Hagiala too. And entire as well. FAB getting that knockdown. Gets hit by the jump in though. And Hagiala not afraid to just... Run up straight and grabbing FAB. Ooh, almost got it right there. I got using the whistle in order to slow his his descent on the ground. <coughs> ooh, that was an ooh unfortunate attempt from Hagala to use the six feet. 
Okay, good stuff from Yahagera yeah, currently in the lead. Trying to force, yeah, FPB to just block and just using... Oh, Lord, Hagala, knowing that FPB was going to go for the uh, spinning pile driver. Good stuff from Hagala. Take the first match. Let's see if FAB can adjust to the overwhelming pressure that Hagala is currently bringing to the table. <coughs> and we are back in the neutral position. Yep. FAB trying to make use of the newly acquired move from FAB, trying to hit Hagara out of the air. Nice forest. Yeah, I'll counter hit. Ooh, almost got the bait on the burst, I think. Ooh! A little bit too far to hit Hagara. There we go. Ooh, with the. Ooh, nice knockdown from Hagara. And Hagara trying to hit FAB out of the air. Ooh, almost got hit by the, the butt fall. Wow, baby with the SPD straight out of Compton. Good stuff from FAB. Ah, yeah. FAB trying to get the slider head to force the hard knockdown on Hagera and then making his way to him safely. But yeah, Hagera definitely on point when it comes to not getting hit by it. Good lord. Hagera has not been hit by a single one of these slider heads. Not that I know of. And here we go. I get a ooh, almost, almost there. Ah man, I get a trying to read a hit attempt from FAB. Ooh, FAB is gonna get a ton of good damage. Look at the damage! Big heat knuckle right there from FAB. He's not gonna get a hard knockdown though. Nice block from him though. Not getting hit by the two HS. FAB trying to get the grab right after his uh his hammer fall followed by the Roman cancel. Ah man, too many minions right there. Yeah, FAB could not use his slider head anymore because there were two minions and therefore the armor from Slider Head can only endure two hits. Uh, one hit. But yeah, that's one of the Ah Lord! Man, FAB chasing Hayana to the depths of hell and manages to get the kill. Good stuff. Holy freaking lord. FAB definitely clutching it out. Very nicely done. We go to Mega Fist. Again with the Mega Fist. Again with the Mega Fist. <laughs> Good stuff from FAB. And we're back to neutral, but yeah, FAB cannot... Use the slider head when there are two minions on deck. Unfortunately for him. And here we go with the corner positioning. FAB definitely bleeding right now. Ah man. When are we supposed to hit? And I got a forcing the burst of FAB. Oh wow, that grab though. Oh that grab. That grab was sick from Hagara. Very nicely done. <coughs> that grab requires some state-of-the-art cojones if you ask me. That was crazy, good stuff. FAB uh, trying to get the slider head, man, to force the knockdown, but man, Hagela is not letting up. Forcing FAB to block, man. FAB has not been able to do a single thing in the past freaking two minutes. <clears throat> Ooh! And Hagela with the corner positioning gets the grab. <laughs> gets the second grab. And gets the wall splat straight into the Legion Driver for the kill. Yeah, it's gonna kill, I hope. Yeah, it's gonna kill. Good stuff from Hagara. Gets the second match as well. Now the third match, actually. And on to the next battle. Potential final set of this... Uh, this set? <laughs> Potential final match of this set. If uh, FAB... Does not manage to win this one, that is. And Hagara, definitely keen on winning this one. Manages to find the opening. Forces FAB to pop the bird. If you're trying to get the jump in, unfortunately, it lands on a very, very violent 6 speed. Ah, oh, no, unfortunately, time Mega Fist. Wow, nice blocks from Hagara. Goes uh, from, from uh, FAB. 
And now I have to kill him again. Another grab for the kill. I get on the verge of sending FAB in the losers. It wouldn't be the first time, but... And FAB definitely... <laughs> Definitely comfortable with the fact of going in losers. He's been winning tournaments from the losers bracket for a long time. He won the like the not the previous Bro Cup, the, but the one before the previous one, and he won it by like playing exclusively in the losers bracket. He I think he lost his first round match, and then he made it up all through the bracket in the loser side up until the grand final, reset the grand final, and still managed to win. So even if FAB is sent in the losers, chances are he's probably gonna stick around a little bit longer than what uh, is supposed to. So yeah, definitely. Oh lord! FAB still trying to stay alive though. This is set point by the way. Ah, too far to get the hit though. And the minions have been armored and that was basically checkmate. Good stuff from Hagyara sent his Nagori Moogie. Here we go! Roy, what is he gonna do? Last time they fought each other, I think it was in semifinals, and I do believe that Moogie was able to take it over. I think, if I'm correct. Let's see if Roy can actually manage to bring it back. And with the jump in, Roy with the banded revolver gets the hit. And the corner, uh, carry. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. Big 6 spear there from Moogie. Trying to get the hit, but Roy finding the opening using the Bandit Revolver should be able to get the kill. Yes, he does. Boom! With Fafnir. Nicely done by Ibushi again, Roy. Ooh! Poor Mugi. You're trying to, trying to cut some flames. Gets burned in the, uh, in the equation. Ooh! Big! Big, big, big Beyblade right there from Moogie. Gets the opening in the corner carry. Ooh, he even got the bait on. Uh, the Volcanic Viper. Good stuff from Moogie. Gonna get the wall break. Look at the damage too. Holy freaking lord. We trying to get the jump in. Gets the 6P counter hit. And the 6HS for the kill. On to the second, uh, the third round, actually. Roy with the opening using the 2S. Goes for the safe jump in. And a grab. Again with the safe jump in. Moogie out of the corner. Trying to find the opening this, with the stagger pressure using a close S. No punish right there on the bended burger. Moogie with the safe jump of his own. Find the opening and the bait on the DP. Even get the bait on the burst. This is huge. This is gonna do a lot of damage and it's gonna kill Moogie with the clutch read right there. That was sick. Good stuff, Moogie. You're taking the first match very, very, in a very cool fashion, not gonna lie. And on to the next battle. Get back to the neutral. Moogie finds the opening with the Beyblade. Goes for the wild assault to keep the pressure going. Definitely wary of the uh, Bended Bringer that caught him off guard last time. This time around, Mugi resorts to just blocking, does not want to commit anything, finds the opening with the 2S. Ooh, and again with the Wild Assault! He tried to get the bait on the... on the... on the... what's it called? On the DP. Big 6P counter hit. Almost got cornered right there, Mugi. And again with the 6P, it's been working with for him so good. Ooh, and Mugi finding the opening with the immaculate spacing. That was great stuff. We're trying to find the opening, man. Man, Moogie with the 6P. Moogie finally getting hit by the DP. Woo! Okay, Roy, nice reactions right there. Got the opening with a sending K. Whiff, Spanish. The 6P attempt from Moogie. Goes for the extension using the Vortex and the Wall Break with the Wild Assault. We should be popping the YRC soon enough. Wow! Goes for the bag dash, man. And just to get a bag that uh, a, a punish of his own with a side switch. Goes straight into the Wasude Yuki for the hard knockdown. Yeah, boom! Let's see how this spins out. Man, wow, with the double wild assault! 
And Moogie going ham at the end with the freaking Vortex or overhead mix-ups. Moogie taking the lead. A pretty nice one at that. Two to one. Two, two to zero. I'm sorry. See how this spins out. Is Roy going to be able to make uh, the comeback? Moogie got the corner positioning. Gets the whiff, the whiff punish using the 4K into the 6 HS. Ah, man. Yeah, Moogie trying to read the DP attempt right there from Roy. Trying to go for the grab. The command grab, that is. And yeah, Roy definitely not bursting on this one. Wants to keep it for the following, the next round. Speaking of which, we are in the next round now. Roy with the corner positioning. Goes for the Bandit Bringer. Moogie, no punish right there on the Bandit Bringer. Gets the command grab, though. This is huge. Good lord. Nice spacing from Moogie again. Gets the opening with the 6 speed counter hit. Uh, Moogie trying to read the DP attempts right there from Roy. But Roy extremely it's very hard to... Uh, a player that is very hard to uh, to condition. Okay, Roy gets the wall break. Goes for the Fafnir. Wants the close-up pressure. Ooh! Ah, okay. Moogie deciding to keep up his own burst. And rightfully so, if you ask me. Let's see how this spins out. Moogie making good use of the Wild Assault right there to keep the pressure going. Oh, caught Roy pressing a button. No, don't run for the six inches. Still okay. Moogie used his own Roman cancel, uh, his his own uh, attention bar in order to make his whiff. Oh, we finally got the punish on the Bandit Bringer. Moogie trying to read that DP still. Oh, Lord. Ah, Roy on the verge of getting a negative penalty, though. Yeah, ooh. Finally, Roy. Ooh, Roy dropping the combo. That is very uncharacteristic. And Moogie with the read of the gold burst. That was sick. Good stuff, bro. On to the next battle. Goron versus Fujishiro Arisu. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, Fujishiro Alice rocking that Johnny, by the way. Oh, he did rock Johnny yesterday in yesterday's tournament as well. Resorted to using uh, Eno uh, once he was right at the end, though. So let's see how this spins out. Okay, nice knockdown right there from Goron. Gonna go for the safe jump setup. Yeah, Goron is one of these players you cannot jump on him. It's, like, impossible. This guy will always protect his aerial space. Okay, nice. Oh, nice challenge right there from Aris. Getting the jump in. Ooh. Big 6p again from, from Goron. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. Ooh, nice stuff. Nice delays right there from Fujishiro. Fujishiro trying to get the... Ah, uh, yeah. Trying to get something started, but it's actually pretty hard. That's what she said. Ah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Fujishiro trying to get to the back dashes from Goron. Again with the stack pressure, man. Ah, man, Fujishio trying to ooh, catch Goron doing something, but this time around, caught him doing nothing and used this opportunity. Ah, no, two. Okay, let's see. Ah, the pressure's real nice. Grab right there from Fujishiro. No! That was so unfortunate from Fujishiro. Definitely an execution error right there. He wanted the instant overhead. Uh, what's it called? Um, the Miss Finer. Uh, the, that was really unfortunate. Okay. Here we go with Fujishiro getting the opening with the 2HS. Oh, wow. That forest, though. Miss Finer a little bit too late, though. Ooh. Going on with the counter hit. Goes for the teleportation station to get the follow up. Should be able to get the wall break and does. Up to the next battle. Nice forest counter hit. And again for the forest goes for the tab does counter uh, Roman cancel not enough to kill nope definitely close to it though ah man the forest for the kill good stuff from Goron takes the first the match pretty convincingly not gonna lie is Fujishiro going to change characters I do believe he will I'm pretty sure he will probably resorting to use you know no he doesn't actually sticks to his gun 
Let's see if this is going to reward him with the sweet taste of victory. We shall see. Ah, Lord. Nishiro trying to get the... Oh, Lord. Punishing the uh, air punish attempt of Goron. And very nicely so. Going on noticing that uh, Fushiro taking a little bit too much time to put his cards on deck. And punishing him as well. Again, man, with the delays. That has been the bane of Goron. Big Arbiter side. Uh, Goron trying to get... Ooh, it gets hit with the 6P. That 6P, man. That 6P goes so freaking far. God, he's definitely struggling right now. Gets hit by the forest counter hit. And big combo. Big damage right there for Goron. Oh, Lord. Ooh. Caught you sleeping. Man, Goron just casually walking out of the corner. Gonna get a pretty nice combo right there. Goes for the save jump. Ooh. But Fushiro Aris going for the Roman Castle extension. But still good on man. Not respecting the plus, the plus frames there. Just just challenging everything and getting the kill in the process. Good on. We shall see, we shall see. Good on is extremely proficient at the, the you know matchup. So let's see how this pans out. Yeah, he used to train and he still uses to train with uh with um with Darwino, so. Uh, occasionally, not like one-on-one -on -one, like training session but he he he's used to play against Aruno a lot so what better training than playing against the the master himself here we go with the grab as you can see yeah Goron is definitely running a, a train on Arisu nice block right there from Arisu though gets the hit with this uh, the strong stroke and here we go with the juggle for the kill Goron on set point. Arisa needs to make something starting. Oh, almost got the juggle right there. That would be sick. You can hear good Arisa finally with uh, the offense going. Gotta go for the Ajito. Again with the Ajito in order to... Ah, this is bad. Yeah. Ah, nice blocks from Goron, man. This man. Goron just casually running out of the corner. Not giving an F. Ooh, yeah, definitely catching Goron sleeping a little bit right there. Nice H throw counter hit. Fujishiro with the wall break. <clears throat> that was a big 6 HS. chest. Ah, and Goron. That being said, careful there. Oh, Lord, and this is going to be the kill. Fujishiro dying with his burst. You hate this. And here we go. Ishio trying to get the quarter positioning right now. Gets jumped on though by Usui Johnny. Usui Johnny did not commit with the... Uh, ooh, the big wake up. Overdrive by H2O. What's my name, biatch? <laughs> Good stuff from H2O. <laughs> oh, Lord. The cojones on this, man. Okay. Ooh, Usui Johnny trying to get the 2 HS right there. Ah. We, are we gonna get the roller? But no, we. Oh, yes, we did. Nice blocks from HU though. HU with the spacing, man. Ooh, unfortunately, jumped on Usi Johnny at the unfortunate timing. Usi Johnny ready with the punish right there with the 6P into the pine bomb. Oh, Usi Johnny forcing the burst. Uh, forcing the burst, yes, upon HU. Oh! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, too far to get the punish right down the uh, well actually could not get the punish on the back dash from h but still manages to get the kill afterwards this is johnny with his burst still intact too which is a pretty big 
a pretty big advantage for him. And here we go, the grab from Musujani should be able to get a safe setup. Yes, he does. Goes for the let's go. The here I go. Oh, and Musujani with the fuzzies. Kaboom! Get out of here. Good stuff from Musujani. Oh, Lord. That uh, Usujiani popping the the blue RC for some unknown reason. Probably an execution error. It's you with the corner positioning. Goes for the double dash. Ooh, tried to get the air grab, but Usujiani was still safe. And Usujiani getting the kill with the Roman cancel extension. It's the first match, by the way. Yo, come on, how you doing, bro? Welcome to the stream. And on to the next battle. Usujani with the roller butt. Gets the opening with the... Here I go. Again with the roller butt. The rocket butt, I'm gonna call it. Grab it ah, it's too old. On the verge of putting Usujani in the corner. And he does. Here we go. Ah, almost got the pressure going, but... Usujani is not one to stay in the corner. Without complaining. Ah, nice sniper there from Musijani. Not getting hit by the overdrive wake up, man. Hey, bro. Hope your tournament runs smoothly. And uh, you're well. I'm doing pretty good. I hope you are as well. Also, man, I got to grind this game more. I would love to rejoin the bro. Yeah, sure, man. You're always welcome. As you already know, by the way. So, yeah, definitely. Go. Come, come. And uh, Biken just got buffed, but she's super fucking strong now. So, yeah, definitely. Go. Come, come, come. Come over. But uh, yeah, uh, just check it out. Just check whether or not you like the new bike end. And if you do, yeah, you're more than welcome to come over. And here we go with the rocket butt. Ooh, that was a big two. That was a very, very, very long reaching 2S, by the way. Good lord. Usujani again with the anti air. Gonna get the corner. Yeah, the corner positioning. I smell. I, oh lord, is that gonna reach? I think yeah, it is. It's dead. Boom! Good stuff and good confirm from Usi Johnny, man. The one hit overdrive. Good stuff. Usi Johnny rocking that new Elfel, too. That is pretty cool. Is he gonna switch to uh, Elfel? We shall see. Still not quite used to the season 3 changes. I still can stop <laughs> jumping as Yozen. Yozansen into, uh, into nothing. Yeah, yeah. Yozen, Yozen, I see, I see, yeah. Well, but you'll get used to it. She has, like, new routes now, and her H Kabari, uh, wait, uh, her S Kabari is, uh, is plus unblock now, so, and which means you get to, to get the Shibari, and then still, it's your turn. So, yeah, it's actually pretty strong now. And, uh, yeah. Uh, that being said, here we go with the jump in. Ooh! Let's see Johnny with the fudge. He's again! Goes for the wall break. Yeah, it's like plus four or something. Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Again with the jump in, Usujani with the kill using the rocket butt. Good stuff. And on to the next battle. Usujani not committing to anything after the 2k 2d. Well, usually not. Ah, big rocket butt again. Nice blocks again from Usujani, man. And should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. Uses the wild assault to get a guaranteed hard knockdown. We go the jumps. Oh, gonna get the follow up. And this should be enough to. No, it's not. I lied. Our system definitely got a thing for butt attack. Yeah, they do. Exactly, man. Just look at Potemkin. Yeah, they're cousins. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Bro. So let's see. This is gonna be a zoning battle. And. It is all going to depend on whether or not Goron can manage to keep FAB out. And keeping FAB out is an extremely hard feat to accomplish. And just as I say this, FAB is in! <laughs> Ryu with uh, the Oh Lord. FAB with the Garuda and Fan. Ooh, tried to go for a sneaky command grab right there. But Goron was um, already ready. Okay, here we go. Ah, FAB. Ah, uh, getting hit by the 6P. You hate to see it. And 
Here we go with oh the corner pressure this time around go on almost getting the punish on the YRC. Why did it not connect? The Garuda gang indeed. And let's see if FAB can manage, man. Can manage to seal the deal. It would be pretty crazy. Ooh, going for the wild assault. Trying to catch that bag that she's in the closest though. But we're on too far, man. Too far. Ooh, yeah. Slider head, slider head, slider head. FAB not. Oh, not afraid to swing though. He's in the corner. This is pretty bad. Nice blocks from FAB. Are you serious? Ooh! Oh, and the Arbiter signed for the kill. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> exactly. Ooh, nice slider head right there. Catching the bag dash attempt from Goron. Ooh, nice 6P, man. The call outs from Goron from, uh, from FAB. That being said, FAB with the sliding Potemkin Buster, man. Here we go to Garuda Impact. Garuda Impact again. Ah, man. Wow, that was a sick TP, man. That was so sick. Woo! Oh, man, that just blocked up. We're going to jump in. Going on forcing the burst from FAB. Ah, he's got the opening. Goes for the RC extension into the Wild Assault for guaranteed knockdown. Ah, yeah, and this should do good stuff from Goron. Takes the first match, man. Pretty convincingly too, two to zero, yo. Well, I mean, two rounds to nil, so it was actually pretty convincing. So let's see if FAB can bring it back. FAB definitely the type of player to adapt rather than to what to 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 how do you say it? to completely dominate you right off the bat. He definitely needs some time to get used to your style, and then he usually brings the heat. No puns intended. Oh, again, man. Yeah, this hasn't been working quite in the favor of FAB. The uh, Garuda, uh, RC, RC, uh, how do you say? RC cancel, uh, startup RC cancel into the Garuda, the pot buster. So, yeah. But let's see if, uh, if it mixes it up a bit. We shall see. For that being said, look at Goron and the pressure, man. Yeah, if it be not. Ah. Ah, oh, the grab though, man, from... Go it on. That was a cheeky one at that. Go it on, man. Taking the first round as well. What is FAB gonna do? Ooh, big wild assault right there. FAB was not ready to block it. Nice block from FAB though. Ah, no, you yeah, didn't see it. Uh, go it on straight into the uh, Nosorovia. No, hmm? It's not Nosorovia. Ah, it is Nosorovia. I think. Nosdorovia. Yeah, uh, it, it, it might be Nosdorovia. Yeah. Anyways. And yeah, FAB popping the burst. And we're going on with the aerial grab, man. And the perfect at that. That was quite the statement. And on to potentially the final match of the set, man. Definitely not a uh, matchup that I would say is in favor of Potemkin, if you ask me. Pretty sure it's not the case. Ooh, that was a far H as well. Big Garuda impact. FAB is in. Oh, I guess jumped in though. Yeah, just it. Ooh, nice back dash. And FAB with the pot buster. It's not over till it's over. We go to Garuda impact. Trying to keep Goron in the corner. Oh, that was a huge. That was a huge Garuda impact in the face. Ooh, I I that I felt pain when I saw that. That was pretty crazy. Good stuff. Here we go with the flick, FAB and the Garuda impact. You are very close to FAB, you don't want to do this. Here we go with slider head. Go it on, not ready. Good lord. Oh, nice opening right there from FAB, catching Go on. Getting up a little bit too quickly. Here we go with the Garuda impact, but this time around got hit. Got jumped, got jumped on. Big Wild Assault, and it's Garuda Impact time again. Ah, getting the opening. Just one more hit is all that is required. Oh, I thought that was a kill. Wait, it's not over till it's over. Oh, the standing P for the save. Good stuff from FAB, not out of this yet. Salut, Yui le chat, tu vas bien? Comment vas-tu? Bienvenue sur le stream. 
And here we go on to the third match. Uh, actually, this is going to be the fourth match. My bad. Nice with punish right there from Godon. Even gets the wild assault combo right after it. He's got the cursed effect. Again with the curse. Trying to keep the pressure on. And the series of curse effects have been pretty crazy. And on to the... Ooh! Almost got hit there. That was a really... Ooh! That standing Fido from FAB. Goes straight into the heat knuckle. This should be able to juggle. Yes, it does. <laughs> that is crazy. Good stuff. From FAB. Nice blocks. Yeah, Goron is not out of the sea yet. Oh! And here we go, the pot buster. That did a ton of damage. Wait, wait. Here we go with the wild assault. Ooh, that was a big far S. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, nice block. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? Yeah, baby. A big... Ooh, that was so crazy. Oh, Lord. The reflexes of this man, man. Tu débutes le jeu? Ah, bah, c'est pas mal, ça. C'est cool. Bah, tu vois, le jeu est très, très marrant. Surtout au tout début. C'est vrai que quand tu commences à y jouer un petit peu trop, par contre, tu deviens un petit peu trop fort. Là, tu vas tomber contre des gens qui jouent super fort aussi. Et c'est là que ça devient vraiment très compliqué et frustrant de jouer au jeu. Mais c'est quand même super bien. Enfin, le jeu est vraiment très marrant. Donc, euh, je suis content que tu aies commencé. Tu joues qui, du coup And here we go with the corner positioning. FAB getting the closest counter hit. Woo! Using the wild assault. And oh, Lord <laughs> That was so sick Yeah, you can see uh, FAB trying to... Uh, trying to... Ooh, and the freaking butt slam for the kill! Yo, FAB with the comeback! Is he gonna make it? That is crazy. I told you guys. FAB needs some time to download you. And once he download you, it's over. Le jeu a l'air vraiment de quali. Par rapport aux autres jeux de combat, j'ai l'impression que chaque perso a vraiment un gameplay différent. Ah, bah c'est ça. Tous les persos, ils ont un gameplay complètement différent l'un de l'autre. C'est ça qui est vraiment génial dans le jeu-là. Euh, contrairement à certains jeux où t'as vraiment des persos qui ont, tu sais, des styles de jeu relativement similaires. Je pense euh, surtout à genre Ryu ou Ken dans Street Fighter. C'est vrai que dans les Guilty Gear, c'est très rare de voir deux persos avoir exactement le même style de jeu. Ou alors un, même, même un style de jeu relativement identique. Relativement, tu vois. Ouh, Big Wild Assault right there. F.A.B. F.A.B. Yo, with the reverse 3-0. He's on the verge of taking it! Merci beaucoup pour le follow d'ailleurs, Yui Lecha, ça fait très plaisir. First time hearing uh, French with an American accent. Oh, really? I think. I think that's the other way around, though, on the last. Slash, I'm, I'm French. <laughs> I'm not American. <laughs> so that would be uh, an American with a French accent, though. But my French has no American accent, though. <laughs> Or are you saying hearing a French. Are you. Uh, implying uh, rather that it's your first time hearing a French individual who can speak English with an American accent. Is that what you were intending to say? Damn, man, again with the sliding Potemkin Buster. That was sick. And here we go. Is that gonna kill? Boom! Good lord. Just one more hit. FAB with the reverse 3 0. One more hit and the wild assault for the kill. FAB with the reverse. Bro, the layers. The layers were crazy, right? Garuda PRC into Buster is filthy. It is, right? But the the, the worst part is Sifu is that at first, uh, FAB tried to do this several times to Goron, but Goron always like jumped over it. And then he stopped doing it for like a couple of matches. And once he did it like uh, after like two, two or three matches, he started doing it again. And finally, Goron started to get hit by it. That was like, uh, that was, uh, how do you say it? Uh, conditioning uh, 101. It was really crazy, man. Your uh, enunciation just... Ah, okay, okay. Watching Damascus. Ah, I know, I know. Damascus has the very... <laughs> He's got like the... Uh, how do you call it? The very... Uh, the, the stereotypical like French-English accent. Yeah. yeah. He speaks like this, right? Yeah. Because I can also try to speak with the French accent without any problem. <laughs> He speaks like this, right? <laughs> yeah. I can do it too. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, thankfully I have like some uh, American family and I used to always go and visit them during the holidays and that's how I got a hold of the, uh, the American accent, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, most French people, they speak like this all the time, so yeah, I know. 
Les gens me disent que Testament n'est pas ouf, donc j'ai un peu peur de l'acheter et la traîner. Euh, ouais, elle est pas super. Enfin, je sais pas si c'est. Ouais, euh, elle est pas. Ouais, elle est pas très très ouf. Mais euh, est, elle est intéressante quand même. Elle est intéressante à jouer. C'est bon après. Euh, c'est vrai qu'elle elle est un petit peu plus faible que le reste du casque, mais c'est pas. Ça devrait pas pour autant t'empêcher de voir la test, je pense. Elle est quand même intéressante, je pense, d'après moi. Après, c'est juste mon avis. Hein. Mais ouais, c'est vrai qu'elle est un petit peu plus faible que le reste du casque, on va pas mentir. Euh... Wait, you said you only won the first one? No. Damn, ok. Euh, et Giovanna, pendant que t'es en mode français. Ah, Giovanna, elle est, elle est forte aussi. Hein. Giovanna est très forte. Euh, très très forte. C'est pas la plus forte du jeu, mais elle est, elle est, tourne... elle est, comment... elle est viable en tournoi, quoi. Dans un setting de tournoi, donc ça veut dire qu'elle est, elle est, elle est puissante. Elle est suffisamment forte pour gagner des tournois, en gros, voilà, c'est ce que je veux dire. Testament, c'est probablement pas le cas, par exemple. Anyways, here we go. Ooh, big close S counter hit from Roy. He wants to have this corner positioning and goes for the mixes. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he will. With the wild assaults, what is going to be the schmix? Here we go with the safe jump. Yeah, we see Johnny forced to pop the wire. See, just to get the six speed though. Ooh. Almost got hit right there, and the Samurai, ooh, wow, Roy going for the double tub dust, the double tab dust, <laughs> for the kill, very nicely done. Je cherche pas les plus forts, mais juste ceux qui me permettent de jouer dans tous les modes, sans me dire que je vais me prendre la... Ah Mais de toute manière, quel que soit le perso que tu vas jouer, enfin, ça sera difficile au début, hein, je veux pas te mentir. Ça sera tout le temps difficile, quel que soit le jeu de combat auquel tu joues. Après, bon, t'auras plus de facilité d'apprentissage avec certains persos que d'autres. Par exemple, Giovanna est très facile à jouer. Euh, Elfelt aussi est très facile à jouer, Sol aussi est très facile à jouer. Mais t'as des persos qui sont forts mais qui sont compliqués à jouer on va dire. Donc euh, je pense que c'est un peu le cas de Testament d'ailleurs. Testament peut être fort mais c'est... Oh mon dieu Good lord That freaking RC straight into the... Uh, straight into the, the volcanic viper in order to punish the... Uh, punish them from Usujiani. Oh sick from uh, Roy. Very nice air grab from Usujiani gets the kill Good lord Baikan aussi elle est forte, et surtout qu'ils l'ont buffé là durant le, le patch récent. Elle est pas trop compliquée à jouer en plus. Uh, anyways, here we go with the RC. Should be able to get the wall break. Yes, he does. Lin la Ah, here we go to close S. Roy with the air to air. Nice punish from Usijani. Goes for the rocket butt. And again, Roy with the RC extension station is gonna get the wall break. Doesn't have any resources in order to get to get a hard knockdown though, unfortunately for him. Ooh! That was a close HS though. Ah, uh, no entire right there from Roy. And it's mix up, sh mix up time. Uh, here we go, the y RC. And we see Johnny got the corner positioning. Tried to go for a fuzzy schmuzzy, but no, Roy was aware of it. Ooh! Here we go, the tap dust. Go and that was an unfortunately timed attack from Musujani. Unfortunately for him, loses this match and makes it so that we have a tie, ladies and gents. Dommage que c'est dommage que les jeux de combat soient pas plus populaires en France. Ouais, j'avoue, j'avoue. Mais bon, ça commence quand même, on va dire. Hein. C'est pas, c'est pas totalement pas populaire non plus, j'ai envie de dire. Here we go! Wow, the air to air from Roy almost got that. Uh, how do you call it? The uh, dust loop in the corner. Ooh. A big corner combo from... Ooh, drops it right at the end, though. This is very uncharacteristic from Roy, though. Big Volcanic Viper, and this should be not enough, actually. Oh, almost got the uh, hit on the 2HS attempt of Usijani. Usijani got the corner positioning, goes for the Bun Charlotte. And unfortunately for him, gets hit by the Bandit Bringer. Good stuff from... Uh, from Usui Johnny Janakte, uh, from, uh, I forgot his name, from Roy, <laughs> sorry. And it's not Bun Charlotte, it's Miss Charlotte, my bad. Oh, big jump in with the jump is from Usui Johnny. Almost got hit by the Bandit Breaker yet again. Ooh, nope, no follow up right there from Usui Johnny. Usui Johnny not going for the follow up set. Oh, I almost got the punish on the freaking Bandit Breaker, but does not go for it. They're going to save jumps. Oh! And almost got the kill though, that was sick, good stuff from Usijani! And goes for the pine grenade, the pine bomb for the kill. Damn, one round apiece, one match apiece, everything going pretty good, yeah? 
Woo. Bid bang did bring her in the Roy with the shimmy shmimmy man. Good stuff. Here we go with the bandit bringer. Wow, that was so slick. It was so hard to see. And man, Roy with the incessant, with the relentless uh, offense, man. You see, Johnny has been fighting for his life in the corner for so long. Ooh, big bandit revolver, but not enough. Woo! This time around, Uzi Johnny going for the follow up, goes for the pine bomb combo into the wall break. Oh, big six feet. Oh, and the butt. No! You're gonna the burst. It's not over till it's over. Woo! Almost got the kill. Choo -choo -choo. Yeah, we can go anyways, but Uzi Johnny clutches this out right at the end. Good stuff from Lucy Johnny. Yo, Akimi, ça va bien? Comment vas-tu, gros? Re bienvenue. And here we go with the 2K2D. Woo! Roy waking up with the freaking standing S. Wow. No, sir, you do not. Ça va très bien, gros. Ooh, and here we go with the empty grab. The empty jump into the grab. Okay, nice. Entire punish right there. Oof. Roy with, almost with the Ah, freaking reaction punish right there. Ah, again with the far S counter hit. And Roy with the close up pressure. That being said, Lucy Johnny almost got the juggle, but couldn't quite. And Roy takes it with the Volcanic Viper. Je profite de Grand Blue avec, avant son décès projet. Mais non, mais non. Il faut, il faut, il faut croire, mec, il faut croire. Je, je suis sûr que ça va bien marcher en plus. And with the close S. Roy getting hit. Gets the grab. So Johnny with the safe jump. I tried to go for the tab dust, but no, Roy was ready for it. Ah, empty low from Roy. Gonna get the wall break using the wall assault. Let's go for the, yeah, for the safe jump. Oh! Uh, yeah, Roy probably tried to go for the quick Ooh, that was really, really, really dangerous for Usi Johnny. Ah, ah. Here we go, the Bandit Bringer. Again, man, the Bandit Bringer has been the bane of Usi Johnny. Ooh, that's gonna be enough. And it is. Boom. Good stuff from Usi Johnny, man. Not going down without a fight. Well, actually, in the lead and on set point. On the verge of eliminating Roy. Ah, nice punish right there from Lucy Johnny. Again, man, with the rocket butt, man, it's been working so good for him. Ooh, that air grab though from Lucy Johnny. Oh no, that was the worst possible moment for Roy to actually pop the DP. Big close S counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. No! Oh! It's so clutch! It's not over till it's over. Nice grab for more. Not over. And again with the empty grab. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I hope for you, you. I hope for that it's over. Kaboom! Boom! Big freaking comeback from Roy right at the end. That was pretty sick. Roy would probably did it with an option select, by the way. Here we go with the air to air. Big for S counter hit for Usi Johnny. Yeah, definitely bended bringer there. Yeah. Ooh. Almost got the punish, but it's fine. He has it now. Wake up DP, of course, from Roy. And Roy with the Volcanic Viper should be able to get a safe jump. Yes, he does. Tries to go for the grab. Uh, nice air to air right there from Usi Johnny. Oh, Lord. Ah, Lord. Yeah, Lucy Johnny trying to read the DP attempts right there from Roy. Ah, man, the Bandit Bringer has been the bane of Lucy Johnny, man. Ah, air to air in favor of Roy, forcing Lucy Johnny to pop the burst. Oh! The freaking 2K studio, man. Roy has been eating this for a long time. Let's see how this spins out. 
Ah, uh, nice punish right there from Mr. Johnny. Ah, uh, but Roy, man, with the DPs. And he's back to neutral. Wow, Roy. From the other side of the screen. Ah. Uh, Ah, here we go with Usijani getting the freaking jump in. Ah, that was that is pretty bad. Is that death? Ah, that is almost death. Good lord, good lord! Look at the damage. Look at the damage. Oh. <laughs> and Roy with the raw DP. We're going down to the last round of the last match. Who's gonna take it? Roy definitely is one. Ah. The big DP again from Roy. Again, the DP from Roy. <laughs> this time, Mr. Johnny not committing to anything. <laughs> Afraid of the DP. Woo! Big 2S counter hit. Not over. Ah, oh, good lord. Ah, uh, yeah. Woo! Roy sticking to Mr. Johnny like glue, man. It's crazy. Ah, no DP! Oh, the 2k! No, the standing k! Ah. Ooh! Back to close range! Ah, oh, nice air to air! Oh man, who's gonna take it? Ooh, the freaking standing k! That was sick from Roy! Again with the standing k! And it's mix up time! Ooh, the reads! There he's from! Let's see, Johnny, is that gonna be enough? No, too far! You hate to see it! Not like this! Oh, Lord. Oh! No! Oh, no, he drops it! He drops it and he dies in the process! That was so clutch at the end! Yeah, we're good to go. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. We are on to the next battle. Hayata versus Mugi. And this is the... Oh, this is the winner's final, by the way. Is it? Yeah, this is the winner's final. Yeah, let me update the... Uh, and, uh, game, uh, the game, the game, the game. Yeah. I was wondering why... Why we weren't in the loser's bracket anymore. This is the winner's final. Man, that last match was so clutch, man. I'm gonna go uh, grab a uh, cup of water after this match. Just right after this one. So oh, here we go with the corner pressure from Mugi. Keeping Hagata in the corner. And getting rid and disposing of the minions as quickly as possible. Unfortunately for him. Uh, unfortunately for Mugi. He missed time his uh, DP his uh, at the air. Okay, Mugi trying to take his distance from Hagata. Okay, nice 2 HS right there from Mugi. Ah, man, and Hayata inviting him to swing his sword. Ooh, the freaking 2 HS! How long does the hurt box, the hitbox remain? It's crazy. Nice standing uh, P right there from Mugi. Not too far to get the hit with the Beyblade. Ooh, big 2 HS right there. Mugi getting hit by the Farke. And here we go with the close-up pressure from Agera. Forcing Mugi to pop the uh, Wild Reversal. I don't know how you call it. I need to remember how you call it. Uh, let me let me check real quick. It's, it's bugging me. I keep saying Wild Reversal, but it's obviously not that. It's... Um, it's called... Uh, you got... Universal mechanics, ground control, air control, and assault. I do not remember. But anyways, if you guys remember, just let me know. So here we go to close up a pressure from Moogie. He gets the opening with the overhead, and this should do. No, I dropped it! The commentator's curse, but here we go with the blood explosion, blood rage. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious, good stuff. Wait, is Mugi gonna lose? Oh, ooh. Oh, oh, lord. That was hilarious. Good stuff from Mugi. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be right back.
Okie dokie, sorry for the way. Ooh, big 2 HS counter hit right there. Four Hagiana should be able to get the Illusion Driver. And does. Okay, on to the second round. Let's see if Mugi ah, can bring it back. Well, Mugi is currently in the, uh, the the lead anyway, so it's fine. Ooh! Air Mugi in the house, y'all! Let's see how this spins out. We go with the juggles. I got using the wild assaults for the hard knockdown. Ah, and Mugi. Ah. Ah, finding the opening. Goes for the RC extension. Ah, and here we go with the checks right there from Agatha. Should be able to get the kill using the Elysium Driver. Oh, I thought she wasn't gonna get the uh, the wall break. Okay, good stuff from Hagara. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see who's gonna take it. Big 2K2D right there from Hagara. Ooh, Hagara caught pressing some buttons. Moogie forcing Hagara to pop the burst. Ooh, too far to get the hit, the kit, the the hit on the minion. With the close-up pressure, big wild assault, but nice blocks from Hagara. Moogie using the RC extension in order to keep the pressure going. Big two six H. I got a force to, yep, yeah, to respect. Ah, uh, this is gonna be big. Enough to kill, yes it is! Oof. And Moogie was on the verge of uh, blood raging right there. Thankfully, he was able to finish his cake. Oh! And here we go. Moogie force to endure the pressure. Gets it by the 2S, the 2D, I'm sorry. Oh! And I get up with the corner positioning. Using the playoff kick. Ah, trying to, yeah. Ah, Lord! Nice 6P right there from Hagara. Forcing a reaction from Moogie, but Moogie holding onto his burst potentially in order to keep it for the next round. Let's see how this will go. Oh, I do believe it's 2 2 1. Is it? I think it might be 1-1 one one actually. We go to 6 HS. Big hit from Moogie. And positive bonus for Moogie as well. Here we go, Hagara using the minions. In order to keep the pressure going. Nice checks from Hagara. Oh Lord! Too far to get the hit. Ah, Moogie! Trying to get the grab. Moogie doing a good job of dispatching, of uh, disposing of the minions also. Ooh, nice grab from Moogie. But he needs a little bit more in order to get the kill. Yeah, he cannot afford to use any of his special. Oh, he got the freaking hit using the minion as a as an extension for his uh for his BNB. Good stuff from Mugi. We are currently two to one. I get a sticking to Jackal, obviously. An immediate wild assault into the. Command grab the bite from Mugi. Oh lord. Nice blocks from Mugi. Yeah, uh, I got a trunk. Yeah, oh man. We are going for the follow up of the overhead. Ooh, Mugi was on the verge of blood raging right there. Big twitches. This is going to be huge and enough to kill. And just like this, Mugi is on match point. Actually, set point. Let's see if he can seal the deal. How this spins out. Ah, Lord. Ah, the double Fukio from Mugi catching Hagata off guard. Tries to get the command grab, but man, Hagata was not. Well, was definitely expecting it. So let's see how this continues. Ah, Mugi fun. Ooh, Mugi with the command grab. Ah, big challenge right there from Hagata. Oh, gets it by the DP. Ooh. Uh, nice 
Nice dagger right there from Hagela. Keeping the pressure going. Mugi just content to just block. Not having a lot of blood anyways, so probably does not want to resort to using it. And Hagela knowing it, making full use of it. Gets hit by the... Oh, the YRC though, and they should do not enough to kill, but... Chip damage was a factor, and just like this, Hagela saves it. Let's see if he can save it a second time as well. Nice checks right there from Hagela. Using the 2k to the... Well, the 2k... Got the 2k to the... Ooh, big shimmy! Hagela with the shimmy! Go straight for Elysian Driver! Driver! Big hard knockdown right there for Hagela. What is gonna be the mix? Nice 2k 2d catching the back dash from Mugi. And here we go, you have to. You have to endure it. Mugi with the YRC. Going for the follow up of the overhead. Woo! Mugi in, very, very, in a very dire situation, not gonna lie. <laughs> and unfortunately gets killed by the minions. I got a saving it, clutching it out two to two. Let's see if the table will turn. We shall see. Ooh, the big bite from Moogie. Ooh, that is gonna be big. Boom! Mugi going with the Wasuri Yuki for extended damage. Is that gonna kill? This is gonna kill, isn't it? Oh, good lord. And, and Mugi with the perfect level. How long did this freaking round last? It lasted for like 12 seconds or something? Not even? Anyways, here we go with the corner pressure. And Mugi. Oh, Mugi baiting the gold burst. Oh, oh. Is that gonna be a double perfect? Is that gonna be a double perfect? Good lord! Wait, 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 wait for it! Ah, this is gonna kill, this is gonna kill! And it kills! The double perfect from Moogie! Welcome to the Brojos. I don't know why I didn't get my uh, Super Saiyan... Uh, yeah, my Super Saiyan power-up though. We just want to kill you. Hmm. Garuda and Pacto. And right off the bat, FAB with the Potemkin Buster. Very uh, nicely uh, done. Big slider head as well. I know what I'm gonna do this one. Here we go. And this belongs here. Hmm. Okay, sorry for the wait. Oh, here we go with FAB and the uh, Mega Fist. Trying to get that knockdown that he so much wants. Uh, almost got hit by the 6 feet 2. Ooh, here we go with the air 2 air. Ah, we see Johnny with the opening. Let's for the extension RC. And the wall break. Big rocket butt right there from Usi Johnny was able to cool that shit out. Oh! If it be with the Mega Fist. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Bring it to go. Ooh! Usi Johnny not getting hit by the Putt Buster right there. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, that confirm is that gonna hit? I think it is. Boom! Oh no! A little bit too late on the confirm though. That would have been clutch though. Woo! Here we go with the sliding Potemkin Buster. This has been the bane of everybody except FAB, obviously. <laughs> He's been hitting everybody with it, left and right. Ooh, FAB with uh, the freaking butt. The falling butt for the kill. Good stuff. FAB takes the first match.
What is uh this is the winner's semi the loser's semi-finals by the way. I need to update it. I forgot to update it. Again. Loser's uh semi-final. Yeah. Hit baby with the flick. Wants to keep Usi Johnny on the floor. Gets the flick. Ah the flick bounce in the corner. FAB has the R knockdown. Goes for the double Garuda impact. Ooh, catches Usi Johnny flinching a bit. Ooh, Usi Johnny with the pine bomb. Ooh, gets a big counter hit right there. He's gonna get the wall break. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the big uh, Mega Fist and the confirms from FAB for the kill. Good lord, what a combo. Ah. Uh. What a combo, man. FAB clutching it out. Ooh, big forest counter hit. Uh, not counter hit, just regular hit. Ooh! Lucy Johnny with the combos. Ooh. Lucy Johnny. Got the knockdown. Ooh, failed to get the OTG, though. And is unfortunately for him. Ah. Uh. Again, the slider head from FAB. Ooh, this is a little bit too far, isn't it? Yeah, this is too far. Banana? Ah, but Uzi Johnny still manages to take it. Good stuff, good stuff. On to the next battle. Nice hit confirms right there from Uzi Johnny. Doesn't get hit by the slider head. It goes for the raw, let's go. Uh, back to the neutral. You see Johnny getting the punish on the... Uh, the Mega Fist attempt right there. Ooh! Again. You gotta be careful with that. Oh, again with the... Wow, man, FAB not popping the burst at that specific instance. I am, I am so surprised. The patience of this man, man. With the big scream right there from Elfelt. New character added to the Guilty Gear Strive, uh, the Guilty Gear Strive, um, roaster. And on to the next battle. Whew. Okay, FAB caught sleeping right there. So Johnny did manage to force FAB to pop the burst though, which is a pretty big win. Nice straight. FAB trying to get that knockdown though. Uh, so Johnny with the grab and it's mixed up time. Fuzzy, no fuzzy. Oh, ah! good lord. Oh, oh, good lord. The fake Garuda into the Potemkin Buster for the kill, if baby. Up one round for this third match. Ooh. Ah. There you go, Lucy Johnny with the jump in. Gonna get the overdrive. Oh. FAB does have the positive bonus right there because he was able to ah, hit Uzi Johnny with the gold burst and that is going to do a ton of damage. Ah, good lord. The conversion is real. FAB is one mega pot buster, the no, pot buster away from winning the... Woo! The text though. Careful. Ah, big mega fist. Wow, wow. Well. We are back to the neutral. FAB trying to get out to it. Big Garuda impact. Oh, oh heavenly fun buster for the skill. That was sick. <laughs> 
Good lord, that baby me win the reads, man. Up two to one. <laughs> that was so sick. I was not, I was not expecting that. Oh, good lord. Uzi Edu, yeah, exactly. He ditched, he ditched Johnny. He's probably gonna change his handle soon as well. Yeah, yeah, Uzi Johnny not happy about this. Good lord. That was so sick from FAB, man. Good lord. That is so crazy, man. The Potemkin God. That is how we call him. There we go with the conversion. Usijani not popping the burst yet. Getting hit left and right by the... the what's called the Mega Fizzle. Getting Mega Fisted right there. Ah! That, that sounded not too good, <laughs> by the way. But anyways, here we go with... Usui Johnny and the overdrive for the kill. Die! <laughs> Good lord. Okay, Usui Johnny not not out of this yet. Oof! Big jump in right there from Usui Johnny again with the jump in, using the pine grenade and the following jump in. FAB still playing. Yeah, man. FAB the god, bro. It's crazy. You should have seen the the sequence before. He did some mad stuff, man, during this tournament. Such a pleasure to see him play, man. It's crazy. He did like he was down two, two, two matches, and he made a reverse 3-0. Like he was down to the last round and the last match, and he he brought it all back. Like it was crazy by doing the crazy sequences left and right. Speaking of which, we are currently on set point. Let's see if FAB can clutch it out. He got the knockdown. Oh, catches a bag dash. Oh, tries to go for the Potemkin Buster a little bit too far, though. He gets opened by It's My Turn. Oh, big, big fish. Is that going to hit? No, it's not, but it's fine. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> oh, big wild assault. Forcing Usui Johnny to pop the burst. Oh, big 2HS, though. Uh, unfortunately for Usui Johnny, he drops it, but it's still, it's still his turn. Here we go with the corner. Ah, uh, combo! This is Johnny not using their tension in order to finish it. Hopefully it's not gonna come and bite them in the butt. Speaking of butt... Ah, 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 oh! And, uh, overdraft for the kill! Kaboom! Lucy Johnny lives to fight another day! We're going on to the last match. The last match. Are we doing a last round to the last match type of... type of situation? We shall see. Oh! No entire error there from FAB. Nice blocks. Oh! Are you serious? FAB with the Kara Potemkin Buster, man. Ooh! Big 2HS, though. No. But uh, thankfully for FAB, it was a trait. Ah, uh, too far to get the punish right there. FAB. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! No! That was so unfortunate. Ooh, big! Uh, 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 yeah, if you be trying to read the burst utilization right there from Musi Johnny. Oh, big Mega Fist and the 2D for the kill. FAB on set point a second time. Well, probably the third time still. So let's see how this pans out. Ooh, here we go the jump in from Musi Johnny. Uh, no whiff punish right there from the six, six speed. Oh, big forest. Counter hit. Ooh, and the current impact. Forcing Usui Johnny to pop the burst. Back in the neutral. No entire from FAB. Instead gets hit by a count. What the hell was that? That was a backdash. Immediately canceled again. <laughs> from a Roman cancel into the Potemkin Buster FAB. It was uh, HPB uh, PRC Buster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are you? oh, yes, yes, yes. My bad, my bad, Sifu, yeah. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't Bagdash into uh, RC into into Potemkin Buster. Yeah, you're right. It was actually Heavenly Potemkin Buster immediately uh, PRC into the Potemkin Buster. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Totally right. My bad, yeah. And here we go with the slider head. Oh, man, and FAB using the new move from... Uh, from... For Potemkin, uh, for Potemkin. That being said, Hagata is the one who sent, I believe, FAB in the loser's bracket. I'm going to double check just to be sure. And I'm pretty sure it's the case. The person who sent it, yeah, yeah, is actually Hagata. So the person who's fighting uh, FAB right now. So let's see how this pans out for Hagata. Wow, and the side switch. 
It's actually pretty bad for... Look at the damage, Frogetta. Good lord. Personally, for FAB, he does not have a... Uh, this is not, not a hard knockdown. Ooh, and he goes for the Batam Gen Buster again. Good lord, FAB taking the lead. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, good stuff from Ayala, though. He does have the advantage of the uh, the uh, long range offense. Wow, <laughs> the freaking big mega physics getting rid of everything on site. Big, big, big uh, wild assault right there from FAB trying to. Wow, what was that? It was sick. Ooh, gets the hit. And forcing freaking I get out to pop the burst and killing him in the process. FAB taking the lead one to zero. Is Hayata is FAB gonna do a re reenactment of what he did during the previous uh, Brojo Cup? This is crazy. Cause uh in the previous Brojo Cup, FAB was also sent in the losers final before reaching the winner semifinal. So he had to like Make, make his way through all of the losers bracket up until the grand final and in the grand final he made a he reset the bracket and he ended up winning the tournament i feel like he's gonna do exactly the same thing in this one it's crazy man fab man ah here we go with the jump in fab got the knockdown forcing i get out on the ground and here we go with the put them get look at the damage this is gonna kill good lord the damage is out of this world Man, FAB. Let's see how this pans out, man. Is Hagata gonna do something? What is he gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ooh, wait, yeah. That was unfortunate for FAB, though. Ah, yeah. Hagata getting hit by the Mega Fist. Almost got hit by the, uh, ooh, the Slider Head. Ah, oh, good lord. Hagata, man. Definitely looking a little bit lost right now, not gonna lie. And here we go with the Slider Head. Ah, got hit by Deep Minions. <laughs> no more minions. See how this pans out. Oh, good lord. Oh, the air to air. This should be enough to kill. And it is. FAB, yo. 2 to 0, yo. What is happening? Hagiana looks super lost right now. It seems like FAB completely changed his way of playing right now. This is crazy, yo. Oh, nice grab, though, from Hagiana. That was crazy. Ooh, big uh, golden burst, though. From FAB. Ah. Uh, Ah, 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 but this is gonna be a wall break. Using the uh, the wild assault, so heavy knockdown right here for Hagiara. Ah, uh, Hagiara almost getting hit by the slider head, but not quite fast enough, unfortunately, for him. And Hagiara finally managing to to win at least one round. Oh, wait, 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 I spoke too soon. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah okay, okay. No, com no commentators curse this time around. Ah, that would have been crazy though. If he managed to make a comeback from this amount of health, that would have been crazy. Nice checks right there from Hagera. Ooh, getting the hit with the minion. Ah, FAB getting the the hit. Ooh, ooh okay. Yeah, FAB refusing to stay still. Definitely liking pressing some buttons right there. No slider head right there. Nice grab from uh, Hagera. Ooh. Nice use of the minion right there to punish the Mega Fist. And ooh, is this gonna hit? Yes, it is. And FAB with the side switch tried to bait the burst, but Hagara was uh, was very reasonable right there. Did not commit to anything. Ah, look at the damage. Oh, not over. Ooh, nice fuzzy. The fuzzy from Hagara, man. That was pretty nice. Just like this, man. Hagara finally putting one on the board. Let's see how this spins out. On to the next battle. Ooh. Okay. Ah. I gotta definitely look at a little bit, a little bit more composed this time around. Taking things a little bit more slowly. Does not want to overcommit. Ah. Nice jump in from FAB. He's in, and that's where things start to become a little bit, a little bit difficult. Oof. Let's use of the flick, by the way, on the... Wow! If it was definitely in. Yeah, nobody here. Ah, yeah. That was a hard read right there from FAB. Ooh! Big tap dust. 
And I get against the wall break. Nice 6 p again from Hagela, man. Hagela is very hard to jump on. Ah. Nice. For FAB. Ah, the checks, man, from Hagela. In order to blow away the, uh, the, 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 the armor from FAB. Yeah, man, Hagela looking very good right now, not gonna lie. Definitely having all of the correct answers. Definitely looking less lost than uh, before. Okay, if it be popping the burst, uh, a little bit off on his timing to dispose of the of the minion. And things are looking pretty bad right there from for FAB. Okay, he's got the knockdown. Ooh, almost got the guru impact. That would have been awesome for him. Yeah, things are looking pretty bad. Yeah, this is dead. Well done from Hagara. Uh, is the dream over? Is FAB going to be eliminated from the tournament? I gotta definitely look way more composed now. What is gonna happen? What is gonna be the outcome? We shall see. Here we go with the close-up pressure. I gotta using the white wild assault in order to keep the pressure going and putting minions right next to his opponent. Nice slider head. Ah. Ah, FAB actually, FAB, um, how do you say, blocking every single minions that is sent towards this direction uh, in front of him, basically, to prevent it from going behind it, so that Hagara has less leeway in order to keep the pressure going. It's actually pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, you see, every single time he meets the he meets the the minion in the air, he wants the minion to stay in front of him, not behind him. This is an interesting uh, strategy. Wow, the grabs from Hagarado. Wow, and here we go. Here we go with the Heavenly Pot and Buster. Immediately PRC into the Pot Buster. Is FAB gonna be able to do it? Yeah, this time around, yeah, the minion is behind him. You see, so it's it's actually, yeah. Okay, I see I see the strategy from, uh, from, from FAB now. Okay, and let's see how this pans out. Yeah, FAB train, ah, again behind him. Yeah. And here we go, FAB. Yeah, usually when the when the, the minion is behind him, he has a lot of problems trying to get his game going. Yeah, oh yeah, here you go. Again, yeah, get your stuff. Here you go. Ah, he got the hit on the minion though. That was to kill. Ooh, that was a big carrot. Big Mega Fist as well. Ooh, if that was a Heavenly Pot Buster, that would have been crazy. Okay, but yeah, here we go. This is going to be pretty hard. Ah, FAB popping the burst. Still believing in it. I don't agree with this burst, though. I don't agree with this burst. Ah, okay, nice. Oh, here we go. Ah, man. I gotta wake up with all sorts of buttons all the time. And here we go with the tap dust. I gotta should be able to seal the deal. And he does not. But goes and meet FAB in the air. Okay, things are looking relatively similar right now. FAB is about to get the burst. He needs to knock down first, though. Ah, this is looking pretty bad. Let's see how this pans out. Thank you very much for the follow, Tectonic Florida Man, and welcome to the Brojos. Ah, uh, what is gonna happen to our hero? Is FAB gonna be. Oh, he's gonna knock down. Oh, he tried to get the, the whiff punish. Because, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Just one hit is all you need. Oh, he needs love. Ooh. Oh, here we go to drop in. Ah, uh, but he's too far to get it. Ooh, big Guru impact. Here we go the Guru impact. Oh, the we found it. Oh, 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 it's the double back mega fist and it baby clutches it out right at the end. Thank you very much for the follow, uh, DK904. Welcome to the bro joke. Good lord, the pod god. That is crazy. And here we go. This is the grand final, the last match of today's exhibition. It's not an exhibition, it's a tournament. Uh, that being said, here we go. Uh, yeah, we're good to go. Yeah. This one's a good guy. Just double chicken stuff. What is it? Is this not working? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, just checking real quick.
Oh. Again? Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. I'm just... Give me a couple of seconds. Okay. We are good to go. I want Fab FAB to win, but isn't this one of Pot's worst matchup? This is a pretty bad matchup we have for, for Pot. It's not the worst, I think. You have worse than that. I think the worst would be Axel, probably. Isn't it? I'm not quite sure, actually. But this is going to be a pretty hard matchup. But uh, FAB already managed to do it once he defeated Mugi in the grand final in the two Brojo Cups uh, before, so it's not impossible. It's gonna be an uphill battle, but it's definitely not impossible. But that being said, Mugi is taking the lead right now, 1-0. Let's see how this pans out. We have to believe. Believe in FAB. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're good to go. Here we go with the Garuda Impact. Again with the Garuda Impact. And FAB with the Potemkin Buster. Again with the Potemkin Buster, not afraid of anything this man is. Good lord. Oof. Nice blocks right there from Mugi. Ah, and here we go with the corner pressure. Ah, uh, if he be trying to get the... Ah, slider head. Manages to get the wild assault. Is Spot versus Chaos a doable matchup? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I think, I even think that uh, that most pot players do not necessarily dislike the matchup anymore. Well, the, the good pot players, that is. Some people, some pots even tend to believe that the matchup is in favor of, of pot, actually, not not of um, not of uh, what's his name of Happy Chaos. Damn, double pot bust is crazy. Yeah, man, it's FAB, bro. Here we go with the overdrive. Mugi's gonna benefit from a hard knockdown. Yeah, here we go. The close is for the kill. Okay, Mugi still in lead. That being said, ooh, big Mega Fist. Fortunately for FAB, he went over uh, Mugi and was able to ooh to recover in time. Unfortunately, ah, he had he did a uh, high jump. If he had a normal jump, he could have been able to punish uh, Mugi on his way down. Here we go to slider hit. Big jump in right there from FAB. Goes for the double Garuda. Goes for the triple Garuda. Goes for the quadruple Garuda. Ah, big Mega Fist. Is that going to be? Yeah, it's definitely going to be enough to kill. And FAB puts one on the board. Good lord, we have a tie. Well, actually, not exactly a tie, but... Uh, the PRC command grab is a theme here. Yeah, it is, man. It definitely is, bro. How is that? Uh, how is that? Is pot versus uh, chaos possible in pot's favor? Well, don't ask me. <laughs> you have to ask a good pot player for it. But I do believe that like a uh, slider head is a very efficient uh, strategy to try to prevent uh, chaos from like. That's what I understand from what they told me. But the slider head is a good tool to keep uh, chaos from trying to overly snipe the the pot. And once. He see, once the pot sees that the chaos is in like sniping uh, position, what he does is the slider head, and that enables him to to uh, get the hard knockdown and then get close to him. That that's basically the basis of what I, I thought I, I comprehended that uh, that might be in pot's favor. But I I don't for for me if you ask me personally, I don't think it's in I don't I don't see how it's possible to be in pot's favor. I do not. But apparently, like some of the pot players that I asked, the, the good ones in Japan. Apparently, they don't think it's necessarily a bad a bad matchup for for Pot. <clears throat> like, uh, there's another uh, Pot player called uh, I don't know if you guys watched uh, what's it called Tatakai Tuesday. You know the tournament organized by by Giuna. But there's a very good Pot player uh, over there. His name is uh, Zell. Yeah, his name is Zell. I used to play him a lot when I, I go to to the Tatakai Tuesday as well. And when I talk to him, like he's like, yeah, no, uh, Happy Guys not is not a bad matchup for Potemkin. And like we talked a bit, and he told me that it's not necessarily the case. Wow, the big Potemkin buster. So that's the reason why th that's what I heard basically. Maybe slight head uh, misses. Yeah, it does. It does 
It like makes them. It, it it's a it, it's an added uh, mental stack that they need to to pay attention to. I believe. You believe the chip versus pot matchup is still 10-1, uh, 10-0. You mean? Even though pot. Oh, I still think this this matchup is shit for pot. Like, but I think like chip chip rarely has a bad matchup. I don't think he has any bad matchup. Because uh, Chip has every single tool in the game to be the most annoying freaking character possible, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I still think like the matchup is absolutely horrible for... Her. Because the thing with Chip is that he's so quick, he can literally with punish any move that Pot throws out. Wow! The call out! The call out, man! That was so sick! And maybe up to the one! Are we again going to see a reversed 6 Oh, that would be freaking crazy. But I still think, yeah, I, I truly believe, like, Chip versus Pot, there's no way that the matchup is in favor of Pot. It's just impossible. It's just literally impossible. I don't I don't see how it could be... It could be anything else than absolutely horrible for Pot players. Because, I, because for me, the, like, Chip has no losing matchup, for me personally. I don't see how he has any losing matchup, so... To, to have a losing matchup, uh, Chip would need to fight against a character that is quicker than him. And he's the quickest in the game, so... Yeah, I just don't see it. Uh, wow! Good lord, FAB! FAB on the verge of resetting the bracket. Good lord, are we gonna see a bracket reset? But then again, guys, I'm not a... I'm not a... I have no authority on determining who has a winning or a losing matchup. I'm, I really... I'm, I, I suck at these types of th things, by the way. Uh, but yeah, just my impression. I would say that, yeah, Pod versus Ship is garbage. And the little explanation that I said, like, regarding uh, Happy Chaos and Pot, this is really just something I heard from a Pod player that I play against very often, who is Japanese and who plays in Japan in Tatakai Tuesday. Good lord, is that gonna be the reset? Ah! Okay, he's got the knockdown. We got the Guru Impact. Moogie, man. Ah! No, oh, Moogie getting the. Ah! Uh, the 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 hard knock uh, the the counter hit. Oh Lord, uh, Mugi with the counter hit again. Let's see how this spins up. Ah, uh, here we go. Almost got the knockdown though. Ah, uh, Mugi definitely does not want a bracket reset, and rightfully so. Good Lord. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this is bad. Yeah, that was bad. But it's fine, it's fine. FAB still has one more chance. Oh, I mean, one more round, actually. Still on reset point right now. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord, that... Ooh, that was sick! Nice butt fall right there from FAB. He's gonna get the corner positioning. Big Garuda right there. Ah, lord. Man, FAB with the instant, the instant block, bro. Ooh, he tried to get the PRC, Potemkin Buster. Oh, here we go. You want to command grab me? I'm going to command grab you, says Moogie. Here we go. Yeah, it's guessing time. This is going to be death, isn't it? Yeah, this is death. Okay, we are still a little bit far away from the, from the, from the reset point. FAB still has some more mountains to climb right now. It could go really either way. Let's see how this pans out. Oh, big 2H counter hit. This is gonna really hurt a lot. FAB deciding to pop the burst in order to limit the amount of damage that was guaranteed right there. Big. Ah, oh, Lord. And Mugi with the wall break. Go straight into the Wasure Yuki Cup. Boom. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, what's gonna be the mix? Ah, big command grab and yeah. Moogie on turn. No, not yet actually. Big mega fist. Ah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Wow, that was really tricky, but this is probably death right there. Yeah, that was death. Tournament point for Mugi. One more chance for FAB. He does have his burst though. Nice grab for Mugi. Ooh, gold burst. 
Ah, big tree chest, bro. Okay, nice. Stuff from FAB. Ah, and the freaking grab. Ah, this is looking pretty bad. For FAB. One more hit, one more sequence, and FAB would be out. And this is death. Unfortunately, we did not see the reset.